to my channel. Thank you for being here. Today I thought I would share with you a vegetarian grocery haul slash Imperfect Produce review. I've been using Imperfect Produce for probably the past like year and a half now and I really love them and especially right now it is super convenient and reassuring that I can have fresh produce delivered to my door and they've had really awesome selection recently. So I wanted to share with you kind of what my go-tos are when it comes to vegetarian grocery shopping. So if you want to see what's in this bad boy, keep on watching. Make sure you follow me on Instagram at oh my ohm. Subscribe down below and let's get started. In case you don't know what Imperfect Produce is about, they are a subscription grocery delivery system. So you go online every week and you pick out your groceries. So they have, they used to only have produce, but now they have things like meat, dairy, eggs, um, also all of those alternatives, which is super nice, especially if you eat vegetarian like I do. And the whole idea behind why it's imperfect is, I don't remember the stats, but a lot of grocery stores don't accept the majority of produce and food that they're offered due to how it looks, if the label has changed, if it's close to the expiration date. Um, and so what Imperfect Produce does is they go in and they make sure that none of the food that is perfectly good and consumable is wasted and they deliver it to your doorstep for cheaper. So definitely check them out. I will leave a little coupon code down below. Anyone who's a customer with Imperfect Produce has a coupon code. So if you're interested in trying them out, click it down below and get you some money off. my stuff spilled. Okay, so this week I have like no food. I have a lot of grains and like staples in my house, but not a whole lot of produce. So that's what this week was mostly focused on. Let me get myself situated here. Okay, so first thing, this is doesn't normally happen, I promise. I have raspberries that got spilled. So I'm gonna have to fix that. That's a big bummer. Um, that doesn't normally happen. Next thing that we have is a stemless pineapple. I just cut my first pineapple ever for the first time last week and uh, it was really good. I wanna try making a pineapple stir fry with this, so got that. Next thing, like I said, they also have snacks. I have a cinnamon sugar cake cup mix from Namaste foods for everyone. I am about to get my period and I've just been craving sweet things so I got this and this is vegetarian. Looks like it might even be vegan. Yeah it's vegan. Cool. So got one of those. This I'm super excited about. This is Quinn Just Seesaw Organic Popcorn. Microwaveable popcorn. It's really hard to find these that aren't covered in oil. So I'm stoked about these. I'm loving popcorn recently. Next, this is my Imperfect Produce Foods staple. This is Light Life Original Tempeh. I think I got four of these. I've been so into tempeh recently, either just doing it on the stove or doing it um, in the oven. That's really good too. So I got a bunch of those. Oh my gosh, there's so much. Okay, four of those. Really good source of vegan protein. Next, I got my favorite dairy-free yogurt. This is the Lava Plant-Based Yogurt. This looks like this. What I really love about these yogurts is there's no added sugar, which is really hard to find. I feel like a lot of Yogurts in general, not just dairy-free ones, have like 18 grams of sugar and you don't really need all that. So this has seven grams of sugar with no added sugar. 
I got three raspberries, which I haven't tried before, and then three strawberry flavors. So and that is exciting. I also got this Stump Town Coffee Roasters Original Cold Brew Coffee. Just a little can. I like putting this in smoothies and shakes sometimes for the morning. It's super, super tasty. Got more dairy-free yogurt. This I haven't tried, but I've just been craving like buttered toast recently. And although I'm not vegan, I do try to stay dairy-free as much as possible. So this is the Mykonos Tomorrow's Creamy, Creamy? <laughs> Mykonos uh, Tomorrow's Creamy. Oh my gosh, I can't talk. Mykonos Tomorrow's Creamery, European style, cultured vegan butter made from plants. It's cashew cream fermented with live cultures. So that'll be good on toast and just cooking in general. These are my favorite vegan sausages. I don't eat them that much because I don't know if they're the healthiest, but they're super tasty. They are the Field Roast Vegan Breakfast Sausages and the Apple Maple. They have these a lot in stock, at least for my area, on Imperfect Foods, and they're really tasty. They don't taste like meat, but I haven't eaten meat in like seven years, so I couldn't really tell you anymore. The last of the yogurts been really into coconut water so I got two one liter bottles this is really good just to drink throughout the day or put in your smoothies is that it for frozen yeah so your frozen stuff for imperfect produce will come with a massive ice pack and it will come in this little thing I believe normally you can return those, but right now they aren't accepting box returns or packaging returns for obvious reasons. Okay. My raspberries, I'm so sad. <laughs> this is the sun-dried tomato ketchup from Trainia Gourmet Classic. I'm really into uh, baked potato wedges with no oil, salt, or anything like that, and then just dipping them in some really natural ketchup. This only has two grams of added sugar, so that is also really good. What is this? Ooh, I was excited about this. This is the Bob's Red Mail Pan-Baked Granola Coconut Spice. Um, yeah, you can put this on smoothie bowls. I will put it on my oatmeal. I also just eat it. Um, raw but I'm excited I never had their pan baked granola and perfect foods always seems to have a lot of Bob's Red Meal um, just because their packaging changes a lot so you can get it for cheaper if you are looking for it all right we have these are dates I know for a fact they always come in little packages like this really good for snacks and putting in smoothies I'll turn it this way so I got a little more room okay moving on to more produce we have two bags of Brussels sprouts. These are my absolute favorite veggies ever as of like the last year. I just roast them and I'll probably freeze a bag just to have on hand. We have sweet potatoes, more sweet potatoes. Um, a couple of organic normal potatoes. These are so tiny, these are so cute. I'll definitely be using them to make french fries. This is another one of those like, cake cups. It's King Arthur flour gluten free, super fudge brownie. I haven't ever tried these, but again, I've been craving sweets recently and trying not to order on Pooh Sweets as much. So that's good to have on hand. Another sweet potato. Look, <laughs> it's so cute. Are you kidding? So this is kind of what I mean, I'll come a little bit closer, is that the food is totally like fine to eat. It's just looks a little different. So like this guy is obviously really tiny and he's got a couple markings on him, but he's totally fine to eat. He's just a little baby. All right, coming down to the end, I have organic Fuji apples. 
I've just been liking yes. making um, oatmeal with apples and cinnamon, where you just like cut the apples up and put them in a pan with some brown sugar and cinnamon, saute them for like a couple minutes and you're good to go. That's been my favorite go-to recently. Some strawberries that didn't spill. Oh my goodness, so many potatoes, <laughs> more sweet potatoes. And another teeny tiny baby potato. And last but not least, we have some certified organic rainbow baby carrots that I'll be dipping in hummus for a snack. All right, so that is my Imperfect Produce haul. I'm super impressed with the quality of everything. And yeah, I think it's just a really convenient way to get your groceries and your produce without having to leave the house. Again, I will leave a link down below if you want to check them out. I think it's like 10 or $15 off your first box. Um, they have organic, non-organic, again, dairies, meats, seafoods, and obviously alternatives like I got here. And uh, yeah, this is just kind of what my grocery haul looks like for the week. All of this cost me about $80, I believe, which I think is a really fair price considering it's all organic and really good for you. Probably most excited about having tempeh again. I've been out for like a week and it's been a really big struggle. And also these raspberry plant-based yogurts and the microwave popcorn. I am a huge snacker, and I hope that this video showed you some of the amazing, delicious, and healthy foods that you can grab on your next grocery run or grocery delivery. Um, this is a really good option, again, if your grocery stores are out of a lot of things right now, and Perfect Produce has really had my back for these past couple months. So, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you want to see more content like this, go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe down below, follow me on Instagram, and I'll see you next week. Oh, also, I have been posting twice a week now. So Wednesdays are going to be for yoga videos slash yoga workouts. I am a certified yoga teacher, so I want to share that gift with you. And then Sundays are going to be for lifestyle so if you have any video requests leave them down below and i'll see you next week bye